Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to calculate percentages in Power BI. I know percentages can be tricky in Power BI and not anymore. Today is the day, my friend. I'm going to show you three different ways to calculate percentages. I'm going to use implicit measures, explicit measures, and also visual calculations. But before we get started, if you are new to this channel, please hit subscribe. So I publish a lot of content here, so you don't want to miss anything. So now, no more talking and let's do this. I'm going to share with you this report as well, so you can follow along. So now let's go ahead and get started with the first method. We're going to be using implicit measures. If you take a look at the table here under data, so this is the financial tables that we're going to be using to create percentages. And right here, if you click on this visual, which is a matrix, we have two different fields here. Country for rows and also discount band for columns. So the next step is going to be to add a measure here. But we don't have to calculate anything. This measure is already in the model. So let's go ahead and grab the measure from here. And this is going to be an implicit measure. So the easiest way to identify implicit measures is by going over the model, over this table, and then look for the epsilon symbol. And for this particular case, we're gonna be using profit. So profit has the epsilon symbol, so let's select it. So once we do that, we have here by default, the sum of profit. But what we're looking for here is the percent of grand total. So right click, and then show value as, and then here we have a few options. For this particular case, we're going to look for percent of grand total. So the option is the first one. Let's select this option and then boom, you're good to go, my friend. Easy PC. That is the first option. And then the second option here is to do the percent of row total. So this is very similar to the pivot table in Excel, if you're familiar with Excel. So we are doing basically the same thing here, but in Power BI. So let's select this visual for now again, and then go over profits, and let's do the same. Right click here, show values as, and then percent of row total. So let's see what happens. Now you have the results for the percent of row total. So as you can see, row belongs to country, and then everything adds to 100%. If you add every single discount band, it's going to give you a hundred percent. So this is working perfectly fine. But how about if you don't want to see at a row level, but at a column level, you can do that as well. So let's go over here again and then grab profit. And remember by default, it's giving you the sum of profit. So we are good with that. And then right click and then show value as for this particular case, column total. Check this out similar to Excel, my friend. Boom, every single column adds 100%. If you eat the percentage for each country, 26%, 15%, 12%, 19%, 25%, everything here within the high field should add 100%. So that means that this is working perfectly fine. There you have it. No more calculations, no more DAGs, just use implicit measures. That's the first option. So the second option is to use explicit measures. So explicit measures are measures where you use DAX to perform a specific calculation. So this is actually one of my favorite methodologies because you have more control, you can modify the filter context, but at the end of the day, whatever works best for you is what you need to use. So now let's go over this second methodology. Like I said before, for explicit measures, we need to calculate measures here. We need to perform calculations by using DAX. Let's go ahead and create our first measure. And our first measure is gonna be profit percentage. So I'm gonna copy this measure. My goal is not to teach you how to write DAX here, but how to use it. So right click here, new measure. And then I already created this measure, so we don't have to start from zero here, control V. 
So let's go over this measure real quick. And remember, you don't have to be familiar with variables because I do have variables here. Just stop this video and watch this tutorial right here. Somewhere you will find a link. Profit percentage is the name of the measure. The first variable is the current profits. We already have a measure called profits, which is basically the sum of the profits that we have in the model. And then the other variable is going to be total profits. Here is where the magic happens. If you're familiar with Calculate, you know that Calculate is powerful and it helps you to modify the filter context. Filter context is also a different concept. If you're not familiar with filter context, check this tutorial out as well. Really, really good tips about filter context. But the point is, when you use Calculate and you also use Calculate modifiers like All, for this particular case, All is removing any filters that we have in these two columns, any filters within the band, discount band column, and also within the country column. That's what's happening here for total profits. And then finally, we have the result, which is basically a division, right? We have to divide the current profits by the total profits that we have right here, the variables that we just created. And then this is going to be the result. But that's exactly what we need for this particular case. And I think we are good to go. Let's approve the changes and then let's see what happens. This measure is going to help us figure out the percent of grand total. So it's already here. Let's select this measure and check this out. Everything here is adding a hundred percent. If we add here every single percentage for each cell, it's going to give you a hundred percent. We just need to format this as a percentage and then two decimals that's fine and like i said before if you add every single cell here it's going to give you a hundred percent so that's working perfectly fine so now how about if we want to find the percent of row total we can do that as well with explicit measures so let's create another measure here right click new measure control v and like i said before my goal here is not to teach you how to write ducks but how to execute this calculation the measure is very similar to what we created previously. The only difference here is that within calculate, the all function, which is removing filters, is only removing filters for the discount band column. So let me show you here what's happening. So we are removing any filters for the discount band column. This one right here. What does it mean? It means that the filters for the rows are intact. So we will see those filters. We will find the percentages at the row level. Does that make sense? So let's see if that works. We go back over here again and let's approve the changes and see if this works. It seems like it's working, my friends. So let's format this as a percentage as well. And then two decimals. Boom. See right here? At the row level, everything within this row, it's giving you a hundred percent. For friends, the same thing. For total, the same thing. So it's working perfectly fine. So that is another way to calculate percentages. So now let's go over the column total. So now let's say that we don't want to see percentages at the total level, at the row level, but at the column level. We can do that as well with explicit measures. Again, we're going to go over here, right click, new measure, and we're going to be creating this new measure, control V. So this is very similar to what we created previously. And again, the magic happens within the calculate function. So we have here this modifier, the all function here that is modifying the current filter context. And we are removing here the filters for country. So let's go back to the table here. Well, it's actually here. So if we remove the filters for country, this is the filter context for this visual. What does it mean? It means that the filters for the discount band field are intact. So we will see here results for this filter. So that's what's happening. And again, let's approve here the changes. And now let's drag this and drop it here. Check this out. Now you see here results. Format this as a percentage again. And then if we add here every single cell within each column, 
it's going to give you here a hundred percent so we are good here so now let's move on and talk about the last methodology by using visual calculations this is also really powerful my friend you're going to be surprised when you see these results so before we go over visual calculations make sure you have the latest version and also you enable the preview features because this feature is still in preview let me show you how it works so now we have here this visual again we care about the percent of grand total let's select the visual here remember the calculation is just within the visual so let's select the visual here this matrix and then go over new visual calculation and then you will have this new window go over the templates that we have here and then let's select percent of grand total we have here this calculation and then go over the field picker the field is going to be profits because that's the field that we have in the visual for now and then the field is going to be profits again and then for access this is going to be rows and columns check this out let's approve these changes and let's see what happens so now this is working perfectly fine as you can see every single cell here if you add every single cell it's going to give you a hundred percent and it has to be here a hundred percent so let's back to report and see what happens now we can even format this select the visual go over here properties data format and then this one right here format percentage perfect now you can see here the changes every single cell if you add every single cell within this matrix it's going to give you here a hundred percent it's working perfectly fine so now let's go over the percent of row total this is also really powerful go over here select the visual new visual calculation again and then let's go over percent of parent very similar to what we did previously profits here profits here and then for axis here so we want to go over here and then select this option columns and let's see what happens back to report now you can see that if you add every single value for each row it's going to give you a hundred percent again we can also format this if we go back over here properties format and then right here percentage you can clearly see here that if you add every single percentage for canada it's gonna give you a hundred percent so it's working perfectly fine bingo my friends and finally we don't care about grand total we don't care about row total but we do care about column total easy pc as well select the visual go over here and then same thing here percent of parent go over here profits profits here and then again for this particular case let's select rows here okay back to report approve the changes back to report now you can see that the values for each country add a hundred percent for each column right you can also format this visual go over properties and then data format we are good here and then percentages boom so it's giving a hundred percent let's this hide this for now and now you can see that this is working perfectly fine okay my friends which methodology is your favorite implicit measures explicit measures or visual calculations to calculate percentages in power bi let me know in the comments below also, if you want to keep sharpening your Power BI skills, check these tutorials out. Don't forget to subscribe as well if you don't want to miss anything. And again, thank you for your time and see you in my next tutorial.